Good morning, Daniel Medina with the Live to Give team. My brokerage is my home group. I'm so excited to be putting some efforts out on YouTube, on social media with respect to taking on more sellers. We have, uh, we for sure, last year we're top 5% of agents in 2022. And we've worked with a lot of buyers. We do, we've worked with sellers too, but for sure, um, selling is the side of the equation that I for sure uh, excel in. I really enjoy helping agent clients put to, uh, put the best foot forward of their home and also have the affiliate people uh, around us that help us efficiently and quickly get your home to market so that we can maximize the net proceeds of your sale. The first step in selling the process, and today is a nine steps to selling. What are the kind of steps? I'm a steps process kind of guy. Um, for sure, I can get into the data and the numbers and we'll have the, that conversation more in depth when I'm sitting across from you and I'll show you price per square foot, make recommendations, give you an estimated days on market, those types of things. But in this, I, I'm a very kind of this step, this step, this step, this step, and this, the order of the steps is per, very important. Step number one is decide you're going to sell. The decide means to cut off all other options. A lot of people are not decided to sell that are even on the market. Some of them are just putting their toe in the pool to test the water. Decide that you're gonna sell. The second is then start to assemble a team that's gonna help you sell the home, right? So you wanna pick an agent. Have an interview with at least two. You're gonna pick somebody that you know, like, and trust, and also somebody that you feel that is gonna put the most amount of money in your pocket at the end of the day. Now, here's what you wanna know. Some people walk the walk, walk the walk and talk the talk. Some people just talk the talk, they don't walk it. We, since 2001, are committed to helping you cross the finish line with the most amount of proceeds in your pocket. We are very familiar with the different types of strategies with regards to restricting showing times, with regards to uh, everything that's being done in this marketplace to maximize sales. As long as it's ethical and it's lawful, we know how to utilize all those two techniques and we can sit, with, when we sit with you, pick a strategy that works for you. Uh, additionally, if you have challenges like big dogs or you're out of state, we there's nothing we haven't seen before and there's nothing we haven't dealt with before. Then we want to help you prepare the home. We want to help you prepare the home to, to present it in its most in the best possible light. When you're thinking about home, your home you want to declutter, you want to clean, and you want to start to trim back and present the yard in its best image as well. You, when you have a buyer in your home, you want to delight their senses. You want to captivate their imagination as to what they will do in your home. You want any kind of anything that's kind of specific to you in the home. You kind of want to start to neutralize your home so that buyers can come in and start to see their art, their furniture, their memories, their kids, their pets in your home. That's the whole point. The home needs to smell nice. It needs to be clear of clutter. And again, the landscaping needs to be done well. Now, as far as how much updating you're going to do, we can have that conversation more in details uh, for sure. Paperwork is a big part of this process. I, I will be completely honest with you. I'm not. Paperwork is not my favorite piece of the pie uh, of this puzzle, but I do have systems in place and people in place to help with that. One of the things that we're going to have you, uh, you know, one of the first things that we're going to do specifically with that involves paperwork or numbers is the pricing of your home. Then we're also going to ask you to fill out a SPUDS. A SPUDS form is a several page form that is just a simple questionnaire. Uh, we, I can sit there and do help you do it in person. We also have one that you can fill out on, on your computer. You just want to be honest. People know that homes have histories, uh, especially if it's a new home. Uh, you don't want to omit or delete anything on this part that it could be a material fact to the buyer. We also want you to order a clue report at that point. That's just a history of any, um, any, any insurance claims that were made on the home. Okay, and then title's going to be busy at that at this point of the game. Starting to put, make sure the title's clean. Starting to make, get gather the HOA documents. They're going to start to do the actual transitioning of the title, and so they're going to be hard at work at that. Well, I just want to put here too note here that any kind of paperwork that I send you to sign, please do so in a timely manner. A lot of these things have time dates on them, and I, my broker needs them in a certain amount of time. So there is some urgency on this. In the old days, we would sit down with you and sign 
uh, a paper signed pen on paper and now it's done via email uh, any urgency on this is very helpful in, in addition to we don't want to be missing any deadlines or jeopardizing your position in the whole process as well okay at that point we're going to order pictures we have professional professional photographers that will present the home in its best light uh, a lot of us are using now videos as well overhead uh, drone images of the home and a lot of people now are also including um, the laid out layout of the home for sure okay we want to if you're going the home is empty we're going to want to stage it we will have the conversation there we have stagers i also do light staging myself we want the home at this point will then start to show okay we will uh, if we're not getting showings, then we need to adjust either how the home is showing or the price. I'll be there with data help at that, that point. Once the home shows, we're going to start to get offers. We're going to negotiate offers. And then we're coming to a meeting of the minds and beginning the official process of selling your home. So that's kind of a step-by-step -step process. If you're thinking about selling home four, five, six months down the road, do yourself a favor and start to slowly start to clean, start to get uh, rid yourself of things that you're not using, start to get the yard in its best possible condition, cleaning windows, decluttering, making your home appeal on many senses to buyers as you enter the home is extremely, extremely important. These are the steps to sell. We've been helping people sell since 2001. We do large numbers in the Valley, the Live to Give team. And we are, I am actively looking for new sellers to represent uh, some wonderful openings of uh, time and energy in my schedule. And we would, I'd love to sit down with you over a cup of coffee, tea, glass of water, and discuss with you the options. We always act in a professional manner. We're never a high pressure sales team. And we want to represent you and see if we're a good fit in the completion of this job. Appreciate you looking at the video. I would welcome any questions. Please comment, like, subscribe, share, and uh, let's let's sell your home if that's if that's something that you're needing to do. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.